Hello everyone, Titanius Fantasia here. Regular Show is a series that ran on Cartoon Network from 2009 to 2017 about a blue jay and a raccoon that did things that were not at all regular. The series was so popular that TBS wanted California-based creator J.G. Quintel to create a new series that is much more adult than Regular Show ever was. Although Regular Show did have a bunch of innuendos, Close Enough is full frontal in its adult-centric humor. Now you may be wondering why I started this video with Regular Show when we were talking about Close Enough. Well, Quintel's current series has a similar style as its predecessor sister show, and the advertising for the third season of Close Enough heavily links the two together. The trailer even refers to Close Enough as a regular show with characters doing regular things. It really feels like Warner Bros wants to capitalize on the kids slash teenagers that watch regular show growing up, like how Viacom tries to lure people into their streaming service with an adult version of iCarly, another show that aired around the same time as regular show. To be upfront, I have not seen a lot of regular show, but I have seen all 16 episodes of Close Enough, and I do enjoy the show a lot. It's one of the most bizarre things you will ever see on TV, but it's also extremely relatable for young adults. But the show does seem like J.G. Quintel's self insert fantasy fiction as Josh looks exactly like him, but if it actually is, then it is the best self insert fantasy fic I've ever seen. Now on to the trailer for season 3. With any trailer, it makes you wonder how many episodes are pulled for it. As the first two seasons are comprised of 8 episodes, it's safe to say that the third season will have a similar amount of episodes. But the show usually has two 11 minute segments for each episode, despite airing on the streaming service HBO Max in the United States. It's also on TBS, but you have to wait a while for the episodes to come out. I honestly think that there's only a few segments used for this trailer, and with the possibility of a cold open lurking to fake us out, there could be even less. We start with the Halloween scene where it rains, and Joss wears a Mordecai costume, alluding to him having the same voice, J.G. Quintel's regular voice as the Blue Jay from Regular Show. Then we see Candace and Alex golfing, with a healthy dose of Alex failing at mini golf. Yeah, if there's one thing about this trailer, it's that it is filled with Alex fails. It definitely feels like an oversaturation, but given that Alex is the most pathetic member of the cast, it's not too crazy to think that we will see a lot of pathetic moments from Alex this season. Along with Alex, we get a lot of exposure of Alex and Bridget having a new friend, whom looks like he will run the two ragged with extreme situations in an episode, and Bridget comes to the conclusion that adult things are just kid things but with drinking involved, which probably seems like a better definition for teenage things, but whom am I to question Bridget? Surprisingly, we get a clip of Randy, but not one with Pearl in this trailer. Randy is still shirtless, and it makes me wonder how he has a farmer's tan when he's never wore a shirt. It's one of the irregular things about this show. Here he goes rock climbing for some reason, and maybe he's having some male-on-male -male bonding time. Considering that he's a mama's boy in the series, it would be nice to see more of him outside the duplex. The trailer ends with a big volcano scene, which looks like the kids at Candace's school made a giant paper mache volcano. It's crazy, but for Close Enough, it's a regular occurrence. The main gotcha part of Close Enough is that the episode will inevitably take you to strange supernatural places that will warp your experience faster than you can say Salsa Verde. While the trailer shows almost two minutes of footage, it can actually all be packed into one segment with all the crazy twists and turns the show can make. The oddest moment about this trailer was Bridget having a big brain and battling someone with a big brain. It reminded me of the Jimmy Neutron episode where Sheen's head grew to ginormous proportions. And for some reason, Josh, Emily, and Candace were just in lab coats watching them in the theater, which adds to the ridiculousness. Maybe it's some kind of presentation, but who knows? Yeah, we're going to get a wild ride from Season 3 of Close Enough. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with Josh, Emily, and the rest of the cast this time. This is Titanius Fantasia, turning off the TV. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.